All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, last weekend was Thanksgiving, so hopefully everyone had a good holiday. Today may or may not be a special day for me. So the goal today is to go and look at uh, maybe a couple cars and depending on how they look, uh, maybe come home with them or with one of them. Still trying to figure out how I'm gonna make that happen because both the cars are actually about an hour away from me. Uh, they're actually pretty close, which works out for me. I don't have to run around the entire valley. Um, but fingers crossed that uh, one of them at least turns out to be halfway decent. So without further ado, let's go ahead and meet up with the guy and um, or one of the guys, one of the potential sellers, and see how this turns out. What's up, dog? What's up? How you doing, bro? Good, Pretty good. How long have you had it? Uh, I've had the car about five years. I'll deep clean it more, obviously, to sure. buy it, but I haven't had time to just... I'll okay, go ahead and set it down for me real quick. When I bought the car, this is not the original motor. Uh huh. Uh, when he told me this had 60,000 miles on it when I bought it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna check the oil real quick. Hold on. You're gonna, this thing runs through oil like crazy. Yeah. So, in fact, this might need some. Mm hmm. Uh, radiator oh, fluid. It. I'm gonna have to go get some because mm -hmm. it's a little low. Okay. Was this was this repainted? This Just the fender? Why did the fender get repainted? Uh, he, the dude didn't tell me. Go ahead, rev it for me really quick. Um, at the moment, no, but if I think of some more, I'll hit you up. All right, bro. All right, appreciate you meeting yeah, up sir. with me. So, we'll work, like I said, we're we gonna work it out for Saturday. For sure, bro. Just All text right. me, let me know what time. All right, bro. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Those bastards. I had to get rid of them, man. I had um, them for a while, then I just switched over to Cox. That's the only fade on the car. Mm -hmm. Rock chip. That doesn't look yeah. bad, though. Do you drive it much now, or? I've been using it for like the last week. Yeah. I got some service to do on my truck. Yeah, dude, I got you. Yeah. And so, I this one. Mm -hmm. Are you from Arizona? I just did the pullovers. Nothing fancy by any means. Yeah, what brand are they, you know? They're just some off brands. No problem. Yeah. yeah. This is going to need a new one here. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, just an O'Reilly coupler. Yeah. Super sequential, mm -hmm. Purin and Canyon filter. Nice. Other than that, it's all stock. Oh, yeah, he bro. did like some hoses and stuff so, when he did the radiator. Nice, gotcha. But I just did, uh, it's got a service on it, transmission fluid was just flush. Mm -hmm. It's all new. Nice. And uh, yeah. it's got the Cobb uh, turbo back exhaust. Nice. Right. You want to um, start it up for me? Yeah, man. Yeah. That's not a, a bad thing. One pair of pants later. So the guy I bought this off of said the car makes about 375 uh, horsepower at about uh, 22 psi, I believe. So it definitely feels like it's got a little bit of power. Still just a tad bit faster, but um, not by much. Now, these coilovers are a little bouncy though, so 100% um, they're gonna have to be replaced. I've gotten kind of used to the quality of coilovers that's on the Evo 10. I feel like most people who see me like driving this probably think it's just a WRX like because <laughs> of the wing. I, I feel like I have to have the wing on here, and not just for the you know, not just for the scene points. I just I like how the wing looks. Now, the inside of the car is a little noisy, um, but I mean, show me a if you could show me an old Japanese car that, that's not noisy on the inside, I'd be highly impressed.
<laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> okay, so first off, I want to say the Evo is not leaving. Um, but yes, I picked up um, a 2005 um, Subaru WRX STI. So I've actually always liked Subarus and WRXs, but I've always been hesitant as far as getting one because um, the whole reliability thing kind of scares me. And I'm open to try or oh, like. What's up, comment? What are you doing? What? How did you get out here? Yeah, so I'm open to uh, pretty much learn or dive into just about any platform. So um, I'm actually pretty excited. Uh, but right off the bat, I can tell the driving the driving experience, while similar, is still pretty different between the STI and the Evo. Um, now this car is in stock as far as modifications goes. Um, um, only light mods, it's got a full exhaust, so turbo back exhaust, um, stock intercooler, and it is on coilovers, um, which I'm not a big fan of the coilovers that are on it. Those probably will get upgraded at some point. Interior wise, it's actually pretty clean. It's, it's, and that's one of the things that sold me on it. Like, it's pretty clean. Um, and even though this is a 2005, the interior looks pretty cool in comparison to that of the of the Evo 10. But yeah, I just wanted to, um, this video was pretty much just to um, show the new purchase and, um, if you're interested in, um, in Subaru content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you will definitely see more of that. Like I said, I'm still new to the, um, to the platform, so we'll be learning together. If there are any things that I should look out for, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe for weekly videos, um, and I will see you guys in the next video.